Next, open WeBuilder, click File, Open File, and select the design and click Open. To rotate around the model in WeBuilder, on my computer, I'm pressing two fingers down on my trackpad and sliding around so that I can rotate around and look at the model. And when we look at it from the side, we can see that it's too big. The face is sticking out of the front and the tail is sticking out of the back. We can resize a model in WeBuilder easily by choosing any one of these squares and just clicking and dragging down. And you can see that the whole model scales proportionally. So let's say we'll put it down to there. And over on the left-hand side, I'll click Center Object to make sure that it's centered. For this model, we definitely will need supports because you can see that the underside of the lion figure and the tail especially are completely unsupported. So when the printer nozzle gets to this layer, it will lay down plastic for the tip of the tail, but there will be nothing to hold it in place, so the plastic will just fall down to the print bed. And we also want to make sure that there's some infill so that when the printer gets to the top of the back and the top of the head, those areas won't just sag down as well. To check on those two things, we'll click Slicing Settings and verify that support is indeed everywhere. That's good. And infill density right now is set at 0%. That's definitely not good, so I'm going to change that to 20 and close. Now I'll click Slice. You can see that support has been added under the tail and on the underside of the lion and a raft has been added as well to keep the model from moving while it's printing. I have a print time of 2 hours and 23 minutes, which is, sounds right for a model of this complexity. And I can click and drag on the slider on the right hand side and verify that I do indeed have infill so that when the top part of the model, you can see the top of the back is printed it will be able to rest on the infill. Good, so this is ready to go. All that remains is to save the model to your SD card and print it.